In the testimony circle of my faith tradition, the saints often declare, if we ever needed the Lord, we sure do need him now. I want to, in the tradition of the hip hop tradition, sample from that faith tradition and say, if we ever needed to vote, we sure do need to vote now. For us, the right to vote is not just a constitutional matter, but a right born out of struggle, out of sacrifice, and a gift from the God of justice, who 2,600 years ago had his prophets say to every nation, you must do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly before your God. And 2,000 years ago had his son say that the least of these must be at the center of public policy. Think for a moment where we are in the time in which we're in, and you will understand why if we ever needed to vote, we sure do need to vote now. Here we are 393 years since the first ship landed in Virginia to bring slaves. 242 years ago, Crispus Attucks was the first African American to die fighting for this country. 236 years since the signing of the Declaration of Independence. 225 years since the Constitution was adopted. 225 years since we were fractionized in that constitution and called three-fifths of a person. 183 years since Mexico outlawed slavery and 176 years since Texas revolted because they wanted to keep their slaves. 163 years since Harriet Tubman escaped slavery. 160 years since Frederick Douglass delivered that America's July 4th celebrations were fraud, bombast, hypocrisy until America did right by the sons and daughters of slaves. 149 years since the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. 147 years since the end of the Civil War. 142 years since the ratification of the 15th Amendment. 118 years since the riots of the Wilmington, North Carolina to stop black political power. 108 years since the riots in Springfield, Illinois. 68 years since Smith versus Allwright opened up primaries for black people. 68 years since Promise King was denied the right to vote in Georgia. 58 years since Brown versus Board of Education. 57 years since the brutal murder of Emmett Till. 52 years since the sittings in Greensboro. 48 years since Fannie Lou Hamer said there comes a time when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. 51 years since Dr. King said to the AFL-CIO that the only voting bloc that could transform America would be for blacks and labor and poor whites and Latinos to learn how to work together. 49 years since the murder of Mega Evers. 49 years since the March on Washington. 49 years since the bombing of four girls in a Birmingham church. 48 years since the signing of the Civil Rights Act. 47 years since Bloody Sunday. 47 years since the Voting Rights Act. 47 years since Malcolm X was killed. 44 years since students at South Carolina State were massacred. 44 years since the assassination of Martin Luther King. 44 years since the signing of the Fair Housing Act. 43 years since conservatives dismantled the Office of Economic Opportunity. 43 years since my parents fought to integrate public schools. Three years since Barack, whose name means praise the Lord, was sworn in to be president of these United States. We have been through too much and seen too much and fought for too much. If we ever needed to vote, we sure do need to vote now. I don't know if Republicans are going to show up. I don't know if Democrats are going to show up. But the sons and daughters of slaves, we better the hell show up. Because God is not going to do for us what we can do for ourselves. We ever needed to vote. We sure need to vote now. And when we do what we're supposed to do, God will show up. God will bless our efforts. He's always has. He always will. When we work our faith, faith is what you believe about God. Works is what you do because of what you believe about God. Faith without works is destitute and devoid. But faith with works is dynamic and can change your destiny. Whenever we work our faith, God shows up. So from now until November, email everybody you know. Tell them to show up. Text everybody. Tell them to show up. Call 
everybody you know. Knock on everybody's door. I don't know how to tweet, but my children and daughter can tweet. So I told them to tweet, 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 tweet everybody. You know. Now tell your neighbor, neighbor, if we ever need it to vote, we show enough, show enough, show enough.